Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. The topic on the table today is breaking down why Hertz is in the perfect position to thrive within the coming months. Today's video will be broken down into three parts. The ticker change and how the deal will work, the rental car shortage, and what to expect from Hertz stock in the coming months. If anyone has been following Hertz recently, well, if you haven't, they have officially emerged from bankruptcy and are now trading under a new ticker symbol, HTZZ, under the newly reorganized company. To provide a little context about what shareholders will receive from the reorganized share and warrant plan, I'll provide a statement from Barron's that approximates what will probably happen. Current Hertz stockholders will get $1.53 a share in cash, 3% of the stock in the reorganized company, and warrants for 18% of the reorganized company. That may translate into roughly one-tenth of a share of new stock and about two-thirds of a warrant per a current Hertz share. It's quite a complicated deal, but we'll break it down to the best of our ability. For example, if you had 100 shares of HTZGQ at $8, your initial purchase value would be $800 and position value would be $874 based on the last trading price of HTZGQ. When Hertz's ticker symbol changed from HTZGQ to HTZZ, you should have seen two new positions show up in your portfolio. HTZZW and HTZZ. HTZZW represents the warrants, while HTZZ represents the common stock. So let's do some math now. With 100 shares as our baseline, you would have received $153 back in cash, 64.5 warrants at $11 per warrant valued at $709.50, and 9 shares at $22 per share valued at $198. And just for clarification, all these final values are based off the first trading price. For reference, I had 200 shares of HTZGQ prior to the ticker change and ended up with 129 warrants and 18 shares. Rental car shortage. With summer travel accelerating, the rental car shortage is only getting worse. With skyrocketing demand but reduced inventories throughout the world, rental car companies are now facing an unusual obstacle, a shortage in vehicles. One way rental car companies are combating this issue is increasing rental car prices. For example, in Hawaii, rental car prices have risen from $50 two years ago to $500 now, $300 for a Kia Rio, $700 for an SUV. These are all headlines that demonstrate the unprecedented demand for rental cars. In fact, according to Kayak, an online travel agency, rental car prices and demand had increased over 70% during the 4th of July week compared to the same period in 20. 19. It's not only the increase in consumer demand driving the rental car shortage, but also supply chain issues impacting the manufacturing of cars. The global pandemic has caused a drastic supply shortage within commuter ships, leading to auto manufacturers shutting down across the globe. Due to the increase in cars being manufactured, many consumers have been in a rush to purchase cars, thus emptying out the dealerships left and right. Since the supply of cars is extremely low, car dealerships are beginning to include a ten dollars to $20,000 markup. If you visit your local car dealership, you'll most likely notice this price markup on the sticker of the car. This means it is difficult for rental car companies to purchase new vehicles to fill the demand as they end up having to pay a premium to do so. Thus, the supply is not able to be increased and the demand continues to stay sky high which correlates to much higher rates. Being one of the largest fleets, Hertz, having over 500,000 vehicles, becomes a major beneficiary to this demand. This is especially important for Hertz as the market helps them get back on their feet and dominate again after coming out of bankruptcy. What can we expect from HTCC in the coming months? It's still uncertain if or when Hertz will become listed on the NASDAQ exchange. There has been no recent filings or news regarding Hertz regaining compliance to join any market exchange, not including the over-the-counter markets. Just for clarification, even though Hertz emerged from bankruptcy and changed its ticker symbol from HTZGQ to HTZZ, it's still listed under the over-the-counter markets, or also known as the OTC markets. Like we mentioned in our last video, before filing for bankruptcy, Hertz was the original meme stock before AMC and even GME that created a trading frenzy that led to over 100% gains on a given day. And just to speculate, once Hertz begins trading on the NASDAQ exchange, we expect a 50 to 75% jump in stock price within weeks of being uplisted. With Wall Street bets talking about Hertz and possibly hedge funds entering into the newly listed stock, Hertz will definitely see some interest and possibly see the price increasing along with that interest. As we move closer to Hertz possibly being uplisted, 
Her tools continue to face volatility, resulting in 10% climbs and dips on a daily basis. However, over the long run, we see Hertz continuing to maintain an uptrend as the market remains hot and Hertz is there to fulfill the demand. And just a quick update, I still currently hold my 129 warrants and 18 shares, which I plan on holding through the short-term volatility. Make sure to check out our Instagram page right over here where we post daily stock market picks and updates. Make sure to check out our stock tweets, Twitter, and Discord all linked in the description below, as well as hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and hit that juicy red tomato subscribe button and those post notifications to keep up with our next videos. Other than that, please leave a comment below telling us something we can improve upon or a video suggestion for next time as we are always looking to make every video better than the last. Thank you for watching and good luck on your investment journey. Bye. Bye.